All right, guys, let's take a look at the Mombre MB1. This is from a couple of industrial designers out of Hong Kong, Henry and Austin. They reached out to me and said, hey, Rob, we're going to be doing a Kickstarter in March of 2023. And they showed me the specs on the watch. I said, yeah, send it over. I definitely want to see it. It looks interesting. And they're doing things a little bit different in the sense that it has a kind of retro industrial design to it but using modern materials such as sapphire crystal or a soft iron Faraday cage to help protect the, um, or the anti-magnetic properties of the uh, 9039 Miyota movement inside, automatic and hand winding, all that good stuff. So I liked it. Yeah, I don't, that's, those are things I don't see in like watches that look like this. I mean, almost nobody does the Faraday cage really anymore. There's a few companies that do and it's just kind of a nice thing with all the magnets that were around, heck, even in the cell phones and everything with the MagSafe cases and everything. Uh, it's nice just to have that extra layer of protection for sure. Okay, so uh, let's dig into this thing uh, real quick because I know people are apprehensive of the Kickstarters. This is a case where, you get it, where you're getting a really nice watch. And if you're an early bird, you're going to get a really nice price. So retail on this is $499. So we're still at that $500 and less happy space that I like to stay now. And used to, and now I'm revisiting it. And if you get in early on this thing, the prices are even better. At like from $299 to $399, depending on when you get in on this. And depending on when you watch this video and everything like that. But worst case scenario, full retail price $499. So looking at launching in March of 2023. And I think they're going to deliver in the summer of 23, if I'm not mistaken. But we're looking at a 38.5 millimeter case. Stainless steel case. The lug to lug is 47. You can see you have a very flat plane going across the mid case here. Not a whole lot of curves or any curves to the lugs. So um, keep that in mind if your wrist, you know, if you can support a 47 mil, no problem, then this is gonna work for you. But if you like a shorter lug to lug, which 47 is really not that long anyway, um, and you just want this fun angular design, the strap's gonna drop off like that. It's, it's gonna fit. It, I'll show you a wrist shot here in a little bit. Thickness 12.25 millimeter. That's you have this kind of like sloped, boxed, and domed sapphire crystal with AR coating on the underside, and then they say have, they have um, anti fingerprint coating on the top side. I don't know what that is, but thank you. I guess you have a 20 millimeter lug width here, and you have a five and a half millimeter screw down crown that is also signed. And like I said, inside is the 9039, so it is. Um, the correct movement for a no date watch. There's a few different colorways you can get. Obviously this one's blue. I think they have, each one has its own part number uh, depending on which uh, colorway you're gonna get. It is a 50 meter water depth rating on this thing. The anti-magnetic properties, I think is like 4,800 amp meters or something like that. And like I said, they're using the uh, soft iron Faraday cage behind this black coated case back there. So you, that's underneath there if you were to pop that off. If we take a closer look at this when we zoom in, we can take a good look at that dial. You can see it's kind of like textured. And then the real draw here is how good they did the facets on the handset with the brushing and the polishing. And then of course the applied indices. They just catch the light really good. And then you have a subtle red print down below, anti-magnetic, and then the little lightning bolt you have the 24 joules, automatic, the branding, Monbray up top. Nice finishing on the case, sterile case back. You have quick release spring bars on this leather. This leather is an Italian Epson leather, and it is fantastic. And at least my kit, I don't know if they're going to ship them all like this, but I got the brown and the black variant of the leather strap. So if they include both of them in the Kickstarter, that is, that's a killer deal. Because these straps are incredibly flexible and comfortable. And they're still a little bit on the thicker side. So you know they're going to last. I'm a fan of the leather for sure. There's no loom on this as far as I can tell. Oh, I don't see any. Yeah, there's no loom on this. So we're not going to do a loom shot. But we are going to do a wrist shot. So you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Like I said, it's very angular, 
both with the facets on the handset and the indices, but also on the case. So it catches light both on the dial and on the case. So I'm digging it. Interesting design for sure. Let me know what you guys think. Do you plan on jumping in on the Kickstarter? I know, like I said, a lot of people are apprehensive on it, but I'm telling you, if you do the research, oftentimes you can find some fantastic deals there if you're an early bird contributor to the uh, to the game there. But, you know, you got to be careful. You're not getting a, a watch that is subpar. And I, I can tell you this watch is not subpar. They used good parts. Like I said, they have a good theory behind the watch. The anti-magnetic properties, the nice Miyota reliable automatic movement, and uh, stainless steel sapphire, all the good things, the Epson leather straps are awesome, and uh, all at a very good price point. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.